This short film is to highlight how the forward collision warning and emergency brake works on the Volvo FH, FM and FMX. Since November 2015, forward collision warning and advanced emergency brake has been designed as a system to support you. However, remember you're in control, which is why it's extremely important to understand how it works and what it does. It's also important to note that this is a safety system and not a comfort feature. The aim of the system, which works above 15 km per hour, is to help reduce incidents and hence casualties where a truck drives into the back of the vehicle in front, the most frequent form of truck incident on A roads and motorways. The key details of the system are outlined in the Volvo Driver's Manual, which is supplied in all trucks, and is also readily available as an app available to download free from your local app store. Forward Collision Warning and Emergency Brake has been available on Volvo trucks for many years as an option. Since the 1st of November 2015, EU legislation has mandated that all new road-going or on-road two- and three-axle heavy trucks with air suspension must be equipped with an Advanced Emergency Braking System, or AEBS. And as from the 1st of November 2018, will also include two- and three-axle vehicles with rear leaf suspension. The legislation covers demands for both stationary vehicles and a flow of moving vehicles in front of the truck moving in the same direction. The legislation does not require the vehicle to come to a complete stop for a stationary vehicle. However, in a moving traffic flow of 12 km per hour, the vehicle must now be able to stop from 80 km per hour. For Volvo four-axle and off-road defined vehicles, collision warning with advanced emergency braking is available as an option. Let's now look at the two key components of the system. Firstly, you'll notice the radar in the lower grille. Its key role is to continually monitor the speed and distance of any motorised vehicle in front. The system works with trucks, cars and motorbikes. The radar is supported by a forward-facing camera that identifies the object. The fusion between the radar and the camera results in a pretty accurate description of the object, and so by working together, this eliminates any false warnings that may lead to an unnecessary braking event. And remember, cameras work in the same way as our eyes. At night, in fog or with glaring lights, their performance is reduced. So sometimes the system may rely on the radar only and therefore reduced functionality and will not react with stationary vehicles. In service, it's important that we consider the full functionality of these two components. So to ensure the system remains fully functional, a quick cleaning during your vehicle checks is very good practice. This will avoid any unnecessary faults showing along with the risk of reduced functionality. And if the windscreen is replaced, it's very important that the camera is recalibrated by your dealer. There are three key elements to vehicle safety. We have to be able to see, we have to be able to steer, and we certainly have to be able to stop. This system works in precisely the same way, and so in order for the sensors to define what's in front, we need to ensure they're unobstructed and clean. Climbing into the cab, one of the unique features of the Volvo FH, FM and FMX forward collision warning is the head-up display. When you key on, you'll see the test function of the head-up display. Should any object ahead cause the warning to engage, you'll see a red light projected on the screen along with an audible warning, so it's very important we put nothing in the dashboard that covers the projector. There is a switch on the FM, FMX and FH. A short press on this switch will disable the head-up display that gives the preliminary warning. The collision warning will still be available both audibly and visually through the head-up display. And if you press the switch for 4 seconds, the complete system including the emergency brake will be disabled, which is confirmed by an orange icon displayed in the dash. The orange truck icon also provides the warning when the system is operating with reduced functionality. It's also displayed if there are any faults resulting from the system being disengaged, for example, a trailer running without an ABS signal. When you turn on the ignition, the system will be engaged by default, and it's your decision if you need to switch the system off. Maybe you have front-mounted equipment, the vehicle is being recovered, or there is a known fault and you are taking the truck for repair. Other key issues is ensuring the truck and trailer are fully compatible and connected with regards to EBS. As a professional driver, you are in control of the vehicle. Keeping a safe distance and reacting to the traffic flow, the forward collision warning should never engage. However, if the system detects a risk of collision for whatever reason, the driver is alerted firstly by a preliminary visual warning, which on the FH, FM and FMX is via the head-up display, not dissimilar to the brake lights of a car in front. 
and then a visual and audible warning. This depends on the severity of the situation. Sometimes the preliminary visual warning may be skipped. If the system does not detect a response from the driver, the truck carries out a pre-brake, where the driver identifies the risk and takes the appropriate action, brake or safely negotiate the object. In severe situations, the vehicle may skip the pre-brake and go straight to the emergency brake. However, if the driver does not respond, the emergency brake activates extremely quickly. And if the driver does attempt to stop, the emergency brake will give assistance if deems necessary. If a steer input is detected or a kickdown on the accelerator is engaged, the driver has taken back control and the emergency brake will no longer be applied when above 15 km per hour. If the emergency brake is applied, the vehicles behind will be warned by automatic operation of the brake and hazard warning lights and additionally on the FH, FM and FMX, once the vehicle has stopped, the park brake will automatically engage. This has covered the key points on understanding what to expect from the FH, FM and FMX. And remember, apart from the head-up display on the FH and the automatic application of the park brake, the FE and FL function in pretty much the same way. So to recap, it's very important to understand that this system is not an anti-collision system. It will certainly reduce the speed and can also bring the vehicle to a stop. And remember, performance is dependent on the road, weather, light and the vehicle condition at that moment in time, and with traffic moving in the same direction. The system is designed to help reduce incidents and hence possible injuries where a truck drives into the back of a vehicle in front. The system is there in the background and hopefully you'll never have cause to use it. Drive safely.